Welcome back, everybody. So, um, I promise I will get to some work in the next couple of videos, but to continue with what I was um, going on about, um, usually when you want to learn something, you, you'll you have to spend, first you have to spend every day practicing, which you should do anyways, depending on, you know, what it is you're doing. Um, and then, um, you'll, uh, Anyways, um, you will, uh, uh, you, 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 okay, so you spend, uh, you spend six months or you spend a year learning to draw or play guitar or whatever it is, and, um, at the end, what happens is you kind of know some songs. I mean that's cool if you're doing hobbying. Um, of course, if you're doing it for a career, you're gonna you're gonna spend all your time. You're gonna learn how to do it. and You're gonna make songs. Maybe you make a band. That's cool too. Um, there's you know reasons for for doing that. There's reasons for spending uh, a long time, like say a year, to learn a specific skill and stuff. But I wanted to, I had a problem for wanting to learn like all the skills, you know. <laughs> So, you know, like I said uh, earlier, you know, there's there's writing, there's coding, there's, you know, music composition, there's sound effects, there's, you know, editing, like for cutscenes and stuff, there's drawing and animation, there's, you know, 3D modeling for certain things, and uh, I figured the adventure game was a kind of a perfect vehicle for this, um, this fusion of all these different things. And like I said, um, you can do all that in other game genres, but... Um, they're usually focused on a specific, uh, a specific thing. Like I said, a shooter um, is more, um, we could say, math-based. Not, not that you need to know a lot of math to be able to actually make one, because there's a, there's a lot of libraries and things that help you out. So you don't need to know as much like math to be able to be successful in making a game. But what all I'm saying is, is you have a different specific set of. Uh, uh, let's say skills in other words um if okay if i'm making a 3d platformer uh i'm gonna have to be able to design my level in such a way where um the player can judge distances to jump or to do whatever things you can do in a, in the 3d platformer and you're gonna have to navigate 3d space and you're gonna have to take all that into consideration and collisions and all that stuff like i said um there, there is uh, things that do a lot of it, like the collisions, it's physics and all that. They actually do that stuff for you so you don't have to actually delve into the specifics. But you're still um, restricted. You're, restrict, you're not restricted in the sense that you couldn't do... Like, you could make a total, like, adventure, action adventure that has a lot of the gameplay elements of an adventure game and, you know... Um, you could still do all the different, like the different art stuff and and all that, but you you have a you have a consideration of the three D space more. With a two D adventure game, you don't really have as much of that consideration. So you're more you're you're focusing more on story, your animations, your um, more on the arty side, the arts. So so writing you know writing audio, visual that sort of stuff and less on the technical stuff on um, on doing it. Now, what I'm doing is going to be a little bit more technical just because um, I'm going to have to figure out how to uh, rotate. Um, first, it's going to be, or the, the sprites are going to be orthogonal to the camera, which means they're always going to be facing the camera. But then I'm going to have to figure out, depending on which way the camera is pointing, um, which frame to show like in a, in a rotation and I'm planning on doing more than just like four or eight rotations for like walk cycles and stuff in fact you can see this and and most uh, most uh, 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 old adventure games like from the 90s 80s and 90s um, they do the same thing and they uh, a lot of them don't have eight way um, a, mo a, a majority of them have the four way like this one is so it's just, you know, back and forth, up and down, and then a few have the actual eight-way deal where you, they can go diagonally. 
but um, I want to make mine super smooth and, and it'll take a lot of work and okay so, <clears throat> so I've been wanting to do this dream game for a while and um, you know people always say you gotta make you should make a bunch of small demos small games get your stuff worked up um, so that uh, you can actually maybe even actually finish the um, the uh, so you can actually finish the the uh, um, you know finish your games and then you'll be more prepared for a big game which takes a lot longer um, but I've been kind of doing you know demos and things and things have stopped me in fact most of the projects I've quote unquote abandoned are uh, um, were actually just because I, I got to some technical s spot which uh, you know I'm not that great at, at you know math and stuff and so uh, I would just get to a point where I couldn't I couldn't do it and so uh, I would stop and shell it the project anyway so I've been doing this for years and I also have the mindset of like if I make a bunch of small tiny little games and uh, I, I can somehow make money through ads or whatever like flash games or I just make a bunch of them and that was always on my mind was the, the whole money thing so when it came to this um, I was going you know what what if I instead focused on developing the game um, documenting and developing the game because I saw these youtubers and they were make actually making a living with their YouTube videos now um, my stuff isn't as interesting as that mine's a lot more niche 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 I, I usually say niche instead of niche you know like I say catch instead of cash you know um, some people say cache or whatever anyways um, so my my stuff is very niche and and um, so it's not like I'm gonna have the success, the same success as those guys. In fact, I probably probably wouldn't. You know, you, you see the uh, if you've ever watched Adam the Woo or Justin Scarred, you know they like go to like theme parks and and various um, Jacob the Carpetbagger, and they go to various you know like locations and they have interesting uh, stories and they explore stuff and some they have uh, funny personalities and stuff. Um, that would get a lot more viewers than this would but that doesn't really matter because my whole point of, of actually vlogging this um, I'm hoping that it will be popular enough with developers or people that want to know how, what makes a game tick to to actually watch be, um, but part of the reason I'm just doing this to vlog the development process you know document my, pro my progress so that later on I could say well that actually took this much time you know this many minutes and and it took over this you know this period of time and stuff and so now I have like a visual record but at the same time um, as far as the money aspect goes um, I can make these videos and if they prove to be popular I might can make some money off of those so the end goal isn't the finished game itself although uh, I, I do have a goal of finishing it that's not what I mean what I mean is is uh, I won't be focused on trying to finish it quickly or now and you know so I can make some money or whatever instead I'll be like um, I'm I'm focused on developing the game and maybe building up an audience for people that want to watch how how the game um, is created so um, let me do something here Alt screen yeah let's just do that save image by hide okay sorry I'm just I'm just adding the screenshot for the for the for the, for the thumbnail um, but uh, so so it, it kind of answered a lot of different questions for me one is that I could um, do all this different things like I can learn blender um, in fact I'm planning to do most of it in blender if uh, if uh, if you know, I can get started back to working in Armory because uh, Armory is a plug-in game engine for Blender. So all I have to do then is just, I don't have to import anything. I just make it in Blender and then it shows up in the game. In any case, um, 
So I'm like, okay, so I can learn all this stuff. I can uh, possibly in the future make some money if people watch my videos. And um, uh, I will have a finished game, my dream game, adventure game. And uh, so, so, and then, um, like I said, eventually I could make money off of the videos. So, uh, uh, that's, that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing this. Um, I'm not sure at what point I was trying to get to originally when, when actually like going back on this little refresher as to what I'm doing, you know, but, um, so, so basically there's, there, there's lots of different reasons. Oh yeah. Um, another reason to vlog it and to actually build an audience uh, into watching it is it'll keep might keep me on task, right? In other words, if somebody comes in and says, "Hey, look, I've seen your progress, and that's that's kind of cool," and you know, um, not that I'm expecting like praise or whatever, but um, if if somebody gives me like a good comment, like I actually did get like one legitimate comment that's saying that they thought I was making progress and. Um, you know keep up the good work and that kind of thing and and that sort of like energizes you so so it keeps you motivated so the more people that watch and the more that they comment and even if it's negative comments but the more that they comment and it's positive it reinforces it and saying yeah i'm doing a good deal so i'm gonna keep doing this right and then the other thing is um doing this adventure game and doing all these different parts learning all of them keeps it fresh enough that um i don't get burned out and i don't get bored in other words, if I get tired of doing, like um, what I was doing before, is I was I made a demo in Unity and and I did all this, you know, this learning Blender and stuff, and so now um, I've been neglecting my drawing stuff, and that's actually what I'm going to do next, is I'm going to work on some drawing stuff. I'm going to learn it, and in fact, um, you're you're going to see me learn it, or you're going to like, you know, uh, go on the learning journey with me, or whatever, however you want to say it, but. Um, so, so so I get tired of doing that, and then I jump over to here, and then when I get tired of doing that, then I can go back, I can, maybe I can go back to story, or maybe I can go back to animating. Um, and I do have a goal right now, which is to make a complete demo, feature complete, you know, playable, maybe even like complete, complete demo, where it's just like a room, it's a single room, um, but all the animations are there, everything is, everything is in it. Um, obviously, um, it would take time to get voices and to, you know, get music and all this stuff. But, um, the point is, 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 uh, I'm going towards making this, uh, little, little tiny demo. So that, uh, when it's all said and done, then all I have to do from then on out is just, um, make the rest of the con content. The rest of the story, the rest of the animations, the rest of the, you know, whatever, whatever it needs. Um, but, uh, it, it'll, it'll, it'll keep me from, like, um, it'll keep me from abandoning the project. Like, I won't get stuck for so long that, um, I just, you know, end up quitting. And, like, I have several games that I plan to go back to, um, like my Hypno Joe character right here, this little guy in here. Um, but, um... This way, if I get stuck, I can go always go to something else, and we're still working on the same game. And I'm learning by doing, which means I'm applying directly. So I get up to speed, and then um, from then on, I'm drawing my characters, right? I'm learning to draw people, or I'm learning to draw whatever, cartoon characters. Um, they won't be as good, that good at first, but eventually I'll keep iterating and improving, and I hope that my, my animation will end up like classic Disney quality, classic I mean 1960s before, you know, um, up until Walt's death, um, Walt Disney's death and before. And so, you know, the, the, the golden age, you might say, of animation. Um, so, so the 30s, 40s, 50s quality. I, I probably won't get that, you know, quality. I'm not that good. That's why I'm learning stuff. But that's that's the end goal. The end goal is to shoot for that quality, and then um, and and basically the whole thing. And so uh, so this should prove kind of fun. It's it's going to take a while. 
uh, I have like kind of sort of a, a semi like a five year schedule. I don't know if it'll take five years. It could take longer. Like um, there is one game. I forget what it's called. What is it called? Anyways, it's a, like one of those pixel art games, and uh, the guy was working on it for eight years, and it's gonna release this year or release last year. I forget. Anyways, um, so so to do a high quality game um you probably need to um you'll it'll probably need to take a long time so it'll probably take me a long time i'm just one guy those other guys are just long, you know cave story was just one dude and it took him five years to do cave story you know so it's going to take me a long time just to do this but um it should be worth it because um I might even uh, release the game for free, depending. Um, and um, anyone that ends up supporting me in the end will get a free copy of the game, even if I end up selling the game somehow. But the end goal isn't to make money with selling the game. The end goal is to make money uh, by making these videos, right? Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Um, in the next video, I'm going to start on the draw box drawing course thing, and so uh, you want to stay. You might want to stay tuned for that. Even if I am pretty boring, you, you'll get to see, you know, how I make mistakes and you know how I go from like knowing nothing. I don't exactly know nothing. I I, I do a little drawing. I used to do um, you know some drawing, and so I'm I'm not terrible. If, if I did a drawing, um, it w I'd be copying something like a picture or whatever, and I would do okay, honestly. It wouldn't be great, but it would be, uh, it doesn't look like a third grader did it, um, but at the same time, it doesn't look like, you know, some highly, you know, paid artist that you'd see, or some of these comic artists that are going indie, you know, um, I'm not any good like that, but uh, I'm not terrible, so I, I know a little bit. But you'll see me go from, like, not being very good to being pretty good, maybe? Who knows? Anyways, uh, I want to thank you for watching, if you got through this far. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next video where, where I'm going to start my, my drawing stuff. So, thanks for watching.